So I started back in class 8 um, and started off with working as a data scientist at Artifact, it was US based company. I couldn't sit on campus for okay. placements because CGPA was not my Interviews come ho jayenge, there will be something else. Like what can be there? People are like, I actually started coding. Uh, yeah, so um, I entered in class 8, so it was around 13 years of age oh. when I was 13 I started coding a lot. Interviewed at Google Tokyo. I was like, I'm Tokyo for the interview. But I'm back in the floor. I'm in support with this. If any, I'm not like that one guy who says DSA versus development. Facebook London. I don't know who gave me a referral. That happened. What a recruiter told me once, Google. Ka, he said, what's your CGPA? I told him that it's not good. That's why I've not written in the resume. So I asked him, ki, is it important ki how much valuable it is? So he said that he has companies just in DevOps. So Blacklist yeah. nahi usko. Nahi. Yeah. Jobs ke baut sare hai. Eventually, college skip kiya and work at Eclipse remotely. So after that, I left my job even though I had a very good financial stability. So in today's video, we have three guests who are amazing. Hai. One of them is 16 years old, the other one is 19 years old and the third one is 22, 23 years old and I too. So we have discussed a lot about how the hiring scenario has changed in the past few years. If you want to become a software engineer or a remote company, what do you need to do? How do you need public profile? How do you need resumes? How do you need to do CGP? How do you need to do DSA? How do you need to do DSA? There are many interesting questions we have discussed. And you will find multiple points of views from different people. So it's gonna be very, very, very interesting, very important. So pen and paper take a note. Important things to note down. And yeah, we will start the video next video. Apart from that, our DSA prep course is live right now. You can avail the Christmas offer. I am announcing this video early in this video. We have not added website to our website. But if you guys are watching this, you can just use the coupon code CHRISTMAS and you will get extra discount on all the courses. You can definitely go check it out and do buy it. We teach in two-step methodology and multiple tiers. Hai. It starts from 1799 and offer is going to be less. So go check the exact prices. We'll teach you everything from DSA basics to advanced and with this, you'll learn OSG, VMS, OOPS, computer networks, etc. and you'll make some projects for resume. You'll make some projects for resume, you'll make some LinkedIn profile, you'll learn some projects. And we'll teach you everything, whatever you need to become a software engineer, to apply to a company and then hiring will be done because it's good. So we'll start the video with this video and let's go. So hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have three interesting guests with us. So it's an interesting conversation. So we'll just directly start with their introduction. Let us know Pratham first. So Pratham, can you please introduce yourself? So Pratham is first. So hi everyone, I am Pratham. I'm 19 years old. And I finished 12th month about 7-8 months ago. And since then I've been working at this blockchain startup called Eclipse and that's the way it's all right. Before that I covered the time I started like programming sort of seriously, machine learning, artificial intelligence and blockchains make a very deep dive. And as I was doing that I shared my journey on Twitter. So my Twitter has 1,54,000 followers. Nice. And now recently Insta has 20,000 followers. So I just shared my journey and along the way made lots of friends jobs किए बहुत सारे eventually college skip किया and working at Eclipse remotely as developer relations and software engineering so that's my sort of introduction great next we have Ayush so Ayush is 16 years old and we can have his introduction now yeah first of all hi to everyone out there so I started back in class eight and started off with working as a data scientist at Artifact it was US based company I was working on building an LP solutions around um, again question answering systems and all sort of things. When transformers and all of these things were not even a thing at that time, we were able to build something out of that. And afterwards, um, I left it and then I joined um, ZenML as an ML ops engineer. So uh, the, the technology which I really love till now. So I worked over there. Afterwards, uh, I got a chance to work with Replate. Um, which is kind of a, one of the biggest video company out there. I leaded a whole data science team and along with that we had uh, UK government grant, a lot of things done over, over there. Afterwards, um, I, I, I used to run also core machine learning course and uh, um, I, had a, I also started content creation but I'm very inconsistent with that uh, because of some reasons. So uh, I started with that. I, uh, yeah, so I, after, after that I left my job 
even though I had a very good financial stability. And then I kind of joined Second Brain Labs. Second Brain Labs is a co-founder. So Shubham used to uh, came up with me an idea and then I was like, pretty interesting. Let's work it out. After six months, we were able to close the angel round. Uh, and yeah, we are working pretty, pretty great on that, but thank you. So next we have Urvashi. So Urvashi is a 2020 graduate. She's working as a remote uh, front-end engineer, right? So she'll share more about her. So hi everyone, I'm the oldest one here, I guess. <laughs> so I graduated in 2020 and I started working at HackRank. After that, I switched to a UK-based startup because I like working in small teams and I like, like working remotely as well. And after that, I started working at a US-based startup and I've been working with React and Ruby on Rails mostly. So now three of you are like remote engineers mostly, like you have worked in a remote uh, startup, mm -hmm. remote company, you have worked at HackerRank as well. So how did job opportunity mili kaise thi? Like you when which year did you start working remotely? So it was COVID, everything okay. was remotely, remote, so right. automatically remote ho gaya tha. but I started in office as huh. an intern. Huh. So I first came to Bangalore because of that internship, the office mein, I think we spent just one or two months, but yeah. it was a very fun time in my life. But when you are doing office fun, when you're working, then there's nothing else to do. You're traveling, you're going to the office and you're working and that's all. <laughs> so you guys started working remotely in 2020, right? Sub COVID ke time you guys started, right? Yeah, yeah. mirror so, 2021. 2021. Tha. Yeah. So opportunity kaise for you, like how did you reach out to them? Because you were, I think, 15, uh, 14 at that time. Correct, correct, correct. So the 14 year age. Mein, a remote company ke kaam karna. finding that opportunity is itself difficult and then convincing them that I can like work there. I think the first thing that you had to convince was take a look at your resume and take you seriously. How did you Correct. do that? So um, I think it's because <laughs> of I had a good connection with uh, one of the Apple engineers, uh, Akshat Prakash. So I, I had a good connection with him and he re eventually referred me into one of the company Artifact. Um, so because I used to work with him closely and then he understood it and then eventually referred me over there. So uh, he, uh, he didn't ask me any, anything. He just told me, hey, listen, take a uh, take home challenge and then just do it. So I did it and there were a lot of guys and in requirements it was clearly listed master sky uh, preferred qualifications and all sort of things. So I eventually ignored that but uh, uh, the, he given me a take home challenge. His name was Prem Vishwanathan, one of the best managers which I have ever had. So he given me a take home challenge and after that I, it was a very uh, kind of a comprehensive challenge and it was given to each and every people out there. So I completed the take home challenge. One extra thing which I really did is I, uh, again, I, I, I really loved MLOps and uh, in 2020, MLOps was not even a concept. Right. So we, I, I productionized the whole code and all sort of things and then certainly I had, uh, I, he called me for an interview. I was like, fair. Now it's my time for the interview. And eventually um, I convinced him to hire me. Um, and I, I think after just a day, he reached out to me and said, yeah, you're, you're hired. And it was a pretty great deal too. So in a nutshell, I think it was more about referrals um, where somebody has trusted me and then given me out there. So uh, uh, referrals is one. But why were you working at with the Apple engineer is my first question. Like, wo yeah. Apple engineer wala kahan se aaya? he referred you, right? Yeah. So you must have started somewhere. So yeah. what was the first thing? Yeah, so there was a community on Discord known as Slingshot. So um, I joined that community. And then eventually they were giving some tasks or challenges around it. I didn't have too much of, I, I had a lot of time. So I was like, fair enough, let's do one of them. Uh, so I did some of them and he eventually recognized the talents and uh, yeah, from, from there. Got it. And when did you like actually started coding? Uh, yeah, so um, I entered in class eight. So it was around 13 years of age oh. when I was 13, I started coding and all. So what was the like first thing that you learned? HTML, CSS? Yeah, so, so it, it was more sort of like I, I spent a couple of months in exploring technologies. Like I didn't had uh, like uh, too much interest in computers and all. So I was exploring technology, which is the best like HTML. I, I did web development, but eventually I thought every like everyone is doing and I'm, I'm not having an interest in doing it. Uh, mm -hmm. And afterwards, I, I, I saw data science and machine learning and I thought fair enough. This is something a little bit hard to because a 13 year old is very uncommon and doing something really interesting into this space. Uh, so I thought, fair enough, this is something which I should take off. And if I take off, then certainly there's something to be written off. So I guess uh, from then I decided to go into MLNDS. Got it. And what about you? Kind of similar story in some sense. So 
आई रिमेम्बर फिफ्थ ग्रेड में एक प्रोग्रामिंग का एक वर्कशॉप था एंड मम्मा मम्मा तो इंजीनियर है नहीं पापा भी इंजीनियर है नहीं लेकिन मुझे लगा कि मुझे कंप्यूटर्स में अच्छा था हाँ मतलब गेम्स खेलने में मतलब क्यूरोसिटी थी कि कर्सर मूव करते तो अंदर होता क्या है मतलब प्रोसेसर में क्या चल रहा है ऐसा क्या तो एक वर्कशॉप गया मैं आई लर्न पाइथन और बेसिक्स इफ एल्स प्रिंट स्टेटमेंट्स वगैरह वगैरह um and there i got the curiosity that you know i want to make my own website make mm-hmm. my own game all of that create karne ka wo passion tha but uh, parents ke paas ko pata nahi tha kaise karna right right, right. and usse pe internet bhi india mein tha nahi like kam tha matlab bahut zyada exactly like 1 gb data milta tha right. kuch 300 400 rupees right, right, pura mahine right, ke right 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 uh, uske baad jio aaya then you know it got democratized and um everyone matlab phir maine internet se रिसोर्सेज देखे घिसा पिटा मतलब जस्ट ट्राई टू फिगर आउट मैं सेंटैक्स रट्टा मारूँ क्या करूँ कैसे सीखूँ तो इवेंचुअली फाउंड आउट माई वे एक्चुअली मुझे मशीन लर्निंग में इंटरेस्ट था तो गूगल का एक बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग डेमो था टू थाउजेंड एटीन में वेर इट वॉज लाइक दिस ए आई दैट कूड रिस्पॉन्ड टू फोन कॉल्स जस्ट लाइक अ पर्सन वर्ड तो वो दैट वॉज लाइक अ वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग दैट गॉड वी होप डॉट टू एन बट ए आई में भी मतलब देखोगे तो बहुत सारे मतलब ऐसे गेट कीपिंग थिंग्स मिलते हैं जिसकी कैलकुलस सीखो ये सीखो बट अगर एक्चुअली में प्रोग्राम करना चाहूँगी यू गेट टू नो दैट यू कैन जस्ट लर्न पाइथन एंड मतलब यू कैन सब पहले से इम्प्लीमेंटेड है सो एग्जैक्टली वो टेक केयर ऑफ इट एक्जैक्टली एक्जैक्टली सो इट्स ब्लैक बॉक्स प्रॉब्लम एंड मतलब उसके ऊपर बिल्ड कर सकते हो सो वही ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी जब हुआ कोविड में वो एक्सप्लोर करते गए एंड प्रोग्रामिंग भी वैसे वैसे बेटर हुई एंड इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग इज मैंने आज तक कभी रेज्यूम में नहीं बनाया Nor have I applied to any single company. Same for you, I think. Yeah. You by guys have not made any resume. <laughs> Great. So Good. you also got through community. Like Twitter, we uh, post करते uh, थे. Uh, Someone reached out to you, right? Yeah, and my first break was in third web. It was this company. Uh, 2021 में काम किया था. And I happened to know the founder. So uh, founder say we just talked, and he was like, you know, we need this kind of uh, person on our team, and I joined. I even had a friend of mine join, and my friend was what 33 years old or something. Nice. He left his corporate job to work at a startup with me. Now he is also like leading a developer relations at a very big crypto company. And I, I was also learning. I made some projects. I got a $10,000 grant for one of the projects. Got featured on CNBC. I got a lot of great crazy things. Uh, eventually, Eclipse reached out to me, and Eclipse made a job for me. And now i'm working just yeah right but we we are traditional kind of a people hame pata nahi tha i mean to be fair for the for the time pe dash internet ka wo tha hi nahi like when i was in class 12th to 2017 mein i was in class 12th mein i was in 2016 <laughs> so hum us time graduate hote the us time nahi tha jio like we were not started. studying from the internet yeah. at that time it was it was proper books class mein jo padhaya even my teachers were like ki jo yahan par padhaya ja raha hai that is enough ghar pe ja ke you know let's see verma dc pandey pad rahe the hum to jai ke liye bas wahi tha ki ye char books hain char books padhni hai class mein jo students hain wo bhi char books pad rahe hain internet learning was not not at all kuch tha hi nahi matlab aur internet मतलब मेरे घर पे तो लगा ही ट्वेल्थ में था एंड इतना आइडिया ही नहीं था उस टाइम पे मेरे को तो जी कर करूं क्या वी डिड नॉट एक्सप्लोर बस मॉक टेस्ट देने के लिए यूज कर बुक पता था एट मोस्ट फेज हो गया एग्जैक्टली सो या लाइक यू गाइस हैड दैट एंड टुक एडवांटेज ऑफ इट बिकॉज़ सबके पास है बट देयर आर ओनली फ्यू पीपल हु हैव एक्चुअली यूज्ड इट इन अ पॉजिटिव मैनर एंड दे हैव बिल्ड प्रोफाइल्स ऑन ट्विटर और स्टार्टेड कंट्रीब्यूटिंग टू डिस्कॉर्ड कम्युनिटीज सो यस सही है uh so what about you like uh do you feel in the coming future this is going to be more important a uh, public profile is all important hogi rather than physical resume is ya fir people will start looking at these twitter instagram youtube handles more than your social media i don't know but definitely your <laughs> github profiles github to ha uh, github to i think mattered at our time also when we were Uh, अगर उस टाइम पे इफ यू अप्लाई फॉर लाइक ऑफ कैंपस ऑफ कैंपस में देन गिटहब गिटहब वाज समथिंग व्हिच पीपल यूज्ड टू लुक एट लिंक्डइन वाज समथिंग व्हिच पीपल यूज्ड टू लुक एट लिंक्डइन भी आई डोंट नो बट गिटहब दे यूज्ड टू लुक एट बट इफ इट्स ऑन कैंपस देन इट्स कंप्लीटली गिटहब कितने मार्क्स आए एग्जैक्टली सीजीपीए एंड टेस्ट अगर टेस्ट निकल रहा है और सीजीपीए अच्छी है तो आई कुडंट सेट ऑन कैंपस फॉर प्लेसमेंट्स बिकॉज़ सीजीपीए नहीं था मेरा 
मैंने तो मैं ऑन कैंपस बैठा था इंटर्न प्लेसमेंट्स के लिए आई गॉट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट ऑफ कैंपस बट माय फर्स्ट जॉब वाज थ्रू ऑन कैंपस आई गॉट अ रेफरल इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट आई वाज डूइंग एन इंटर्नशिप विद दिस वन गाय वन ऑफ देम वाज वर्किंग इन ग्रोफर्स आई थिंक द अदर वन वाज अ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एम्प्लॉय बोथ ऑफ देम वर ट्राइंग टू बिल्ड समथिंग न्यू सो दे हायर्ड मी एज एन इंटर्न सो ही गेव मी अ रेफरल टू माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एंड माइक्रोसॉफ्ट सेड नो वी ओनली नीड लाइक 7.5 सी माइक्रोसॉफ्ट हायर्ड दैट मतलब दे हैव और नॉट आई डोंट नो बट 7.5 क्राइटेरिया था व्हेन यू टू अप्लाई फॉर इंटर्न या फॉर फुल टाइम रोल्स इट वाज सरप्राइजिंग लाइक आई थॉट बिग टेक कंपनी इज थोड़ा दे मूव पास्ट दैट की मार्क्स मैटर सम सम माइक्रोसॉफ्ट हैज इट येट गूगल हैज गूगल को फर्क नहीं पड़ता इफ यू हैव नहीं सेवन फिर भी आई थिंक दे हैव क्राइटेरिया ऑन कैंपस व्हाट वन ऑफ नो इन गूगल आई थिंक इट्स मोर देन दैट की बहुत सेलेक्टिवली का इंटरव्यू होता है दे डोंट हैव अ टेस्ट आई थिंक ऑन कैंपस में होता है ऑफ कैंपस में नहीं होता ऑफ कैंपस में फॉर अ गुड स्ट्रांग प्रोफाइल देन इट डजंट मैटर बट ऑन कैंपस में तो लाइक इट यूज्ड टू कम एंड इट यूज्ड टू शॉर्टलिस्ट 10 12 15 पीपल आई नो सब सीजीपी 9 प्लस वाले लाइक आई नेवर गॉट एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू सेट फॉर गूगल बिकॉज़ मेरी 8 वाली लाइन में थी इट वाज नॉट 9 प्लस सो कभी वो अपॉर्चुनिटी तो नहीं मिली थी इट वाज लाइक दैट एट कॉलेज टाइम विदाउट डिग्री तो पॉसिबल ही है है अब नो आई इंटरव्यूड एट गूगल टोक्यो मुझे लगा था वो टोक्यो लेके जाएंगे फॉर द इंटरव्यू बट हम ना इग्नोर में हुआ था आई वाज सो हैप्पी कि अगर नहीं भी हुआ ना तो एट लीस्ट आई गो टोक्यो बट दैट डिड नॉट हैपन आई केम टू बैंगलोर बट नहीं हुआ पास गॉट इट गॉट इट बट हां लाइक गूगल का है बाहर में जैसे यूएस में इफ यू हैव डन सम बूट बूट कैंप और यू गेट गेट रेफरल टू you will you get in, you get a chance to interview interview option opportunity mil jati hai but ha referrals wagera lene padenge and things like that wo it's normal but hey like amazon ko farak nahi padta honestly amazon is like ki agar tumhare paas bsc degree bhi hai ba but they need a degree but they don't care about your cgpa or which degree you are from so they'll take you to so india mein to degree chahiye degree chahiye india mein What a recruiter told me once Google ka he said what's your CGPA I told him ki achhi nahi hai to that's why I have not written in the resume to fir I asked him ki is it important ki how much valuable it is to usne kaha ki hiring managers they are still wo they are seniors oh, oh, oh. wo junior ne jo time dekha hai they still pay attention to it even till today uh, how but मेन प्रॉब्लम तुम्हारे अगर 12 नंबर आ रहे हो एक बंदा होगा कि आज इसके 20 आउट ऑफ 20 आ रहे होंगे सो यू हैव टू मैनेज विद दैट और रिलेटिव हो गया तो रिलेटिव हो गया तो व्हाट लग जाता है होता ही है एवरी कॉलेज इज रिलेटिव ग्रेडिंग सो यू विल हैव टू स्टडी इन एंड यू विल हैव टू पुट इन आवर्स बिना मेहनत करे फिर वो सीजी पे नहीं आती एंड इफ यू आर इनटू को करिकुलर्स या फिर कुछ और यू आर बिल्डिंग ऑन साइड तो फिर सीजी पे तो पक्का इफेक्ट होगी होगी बिकॉज़ टाइम ही नहीं मिलेगा पढ़ने का एग्जैक्टली generally man to as is like ki college to bahut chill hota hai school hota hai ha it's it's definitely more chill main maine ek it's your choice ki agar tumhe cgp pe you want to focus or you want to focus on other things and build a network of people around okay okay so yeah so for me uh, meri 8.5 hai aggregate in 4 years and i only used to study 10 days before my entrance and one week before yeah. my नहीं मतलब टॉपर वाली बात नहीं मैं अपने घिसू दोस्तों को पकड़ता था कि भाई पढ़ना क्या है उनके नोट्स लेता था और फिर लगा के पढ़ लेता था दस दिन आ जाती थी सीजी पे लाइक एंड फिर कोविड है मतलब कोविड के लास्ट के तीन सेमेस्टर्स में नहीं मतलब आई डेंट गेट बहुत ज्यादा बिकॉज सभी कुछ कुछ कर रहे थे तो नाइन प्लस सब की आ रही थी मेरी एट पॉइंट समथिंग ही आई थी बट इट वॉज गुड इनफ की टोटल एग्री ठीक हो गया दिया था That ha- but नहीं हुआ क्लियर फेसबुक लंडन में तो आई डिड नॉट है कुछ भी प्रेप नहीं था मेरा तो आई कूडेंट डू इट बट नाउ वेन आई थिंक ऑफ इट कितना आसान क्वेश्चन था आई कूडेंट डू इट देन उससे नहीं पढ़ा होता तो नहीं पता चलता इफ यू हैव नॉट प्रिपेयर इफ यू लास्ट देम लाइक हैव यू गाइस 
स्टडी डी एस एट ऑल लाइक थोड़ा बहुत कुछ ऊपर ऊपर से वट अबाउट यू नहीं सो दे विल इफ वी वी विल आस्क दम बेसिक मार्ज लिंक लिस्ट वाला क्वेश्चन भी दे माइट स्ट्रगल इन दैट बट इट्स इट्स अ बेसिक क्वेश्चन दैट यू यू विल हैव टू लर्न सो वहाँ पे इट्स द डिफरेंस कि हम अगर नॉर्मल कोई इंटरव्यूज दे रहा है तो यू विल हैव टू लर्न दीज टेन हंड्रेड वन फिफ्टी टू हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन जो सब करते हैं यू विल हैव बेसिक आइडिया ऑफ डी एस है एंड उसके ऊपर यू कैन गिव इंटरव्यूज एंड लर्न मोर बट इफ यू स्टार्ट वर्किंग डायरेक्टली आउट ऑफ लाइक स्कूल देन यू यू विल नॉट नेवर स्टडी बिकॉज तुमने वही कोर स्किल्स डेवलप कर लिया फॉर अ कोर पर्टिकुलर जॉब राइट यू हैव अ प्रॉपर कोर लाइक फील्ड वेर यू वर्क राइट सो यू यू आर एक्सपर्ट इन दैट बट उसके आस पास यू हैव नॉट एक्सप्लोर दैट मच मतलब जैसे कि अभी कोई बोले कि जाओ स्क्रिप्ट में एक वेब सर्वर बनाओ तो उसमें आई डोंट नो बाइनरी सर्च ये सब जरूरत नहीं है एग्जैक्ट कोई जरूरत नहीं है राइट सो वो आर्किटेक्चरल डिसीजन लेने में या फिर वेन यू आर मतलब थोड़ा और डेप्थ में जाइड करते हो तो वो थोड़ा बहुत फर्क पड़ जाता है लाइक देन यू यू विल माइट नीड डेटा स्ट्रक्चर बट नॉर्मल वेब डेप में तो फर्क ही नहीं पड़ता इतना ज्यादा कि क्या कर रहे हो बहुत बेसिक बेसिक एरेज आते हैं तो ठीक है स्ट्रिंग्स आते हैं तो ठीक है हां ये शॉर्ट फिल्टर मतलब मतलब हो जाता है इट्स नॉट कि कर नहीं सकते आई थिंक मोर देन रिमेंबरिंग द एल्गोरिथम्स द पॉइंट ऑफ डूइंग डीएसए इज कि यू हैव दैट प्रैक्टिस कि यू आइडेंटिफाई कि दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम पैटर्न सॉर्ट ऑफ पैटर्न रिकॉग्निशन हो गया आई थिंक कि या इन मशीन लर्निंग इट्स आई थिंक डीएसए एट सम लेवल इट्स ऑटोमेटिकली बिल्ट अप Yeah, okay. I think it's automatically built up. For example, as you told about um, taking architectural decisions, or maybe probably going around things, or going in depth and uh, optimizing things, and a lot of things which comes around. Right. So I think it's more about if you really see MLOps principles, and uh, MLOps is trained entirely based on productionization, arch- architectures, and a lot of things out there. So I think on that part, in if you really see MLOps has some set of patterns, some set of problem principles which is already defined um and then you have to build on top of it to actually productionize your ml code and whatsoever thing out there so i think it's completely me for for, uh, for it's dsa actually helps for problem solving and lot of things as you stated that if you go in a very core and then understand it then actually it helps but in terms of really if you see that for a machine learning engineering role definitely if you go to google microsoft they will ask questions about dsa mm-hmm. they'll start with dsa right. but if you really go to a startup They don't care about it. They they they, they take, give you a take home challenge and they ask you to solve it. And the way you solve it is what matters. And uh, yeah, so one of the startup which I went in Zenimal, which for M M L Ops engineering role, I think uh, they given me a simple uh, a whole project. So they co they coded everything and they given me. They told productionize it. So it's all about um, how well in machine learning in context, how well you are uh, productionizing nowadays. nobody cares you writing three lines of code cycle learn and all sort of thing and then going ahead that's does not really matter now what really matters is you taking 0 to 1 and how you are productionizing it at scale and following your code standards so uh, i think it depends like which role you are applying correct matlab i don't agree ki this will happen for all the roles correct. like if you are applying for a front end engineer role they will correct. directly focus on your front end development skills correct sir. if you apply for a ml ops engineer to ml ops pe dhyan denge correct. devops karoge to devops pe karenge correct. but if you apply for a software engineering Gen- role then then, general, then they will start off with dsa because correct. there is nothing else they can right. test you on right तो उन्हें एक बेसिक क्राइटेरिया चाहिए टू टेस्ट यू दैट्स व्हाई ऑल दीज कंपनीज टेस्ट यू ऑन डीएसएस स्किल्स कंपनी एग्री 90% ऑफ द जॉब्स आर सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट इंजीनियर लाइक आई वाज वर्किंग एज एन आईओएस इंजीनियर देन दे शिफ्टेड मी टू अ बैक एंड वाला रोल नाउ आई विल शिफ्ट टू सम फ्रंट एंड वाला सो यू कैन वर्क एनीवेयर इफ यू हैव लाइक यू कैन लर्न एवरीथिंग राइट इट टेक्स 1 टू 2 मंथ्स टू गेट गुड एट समथिंग इफ यू हैव बेसिक आईडिया सो फॉर जनरल वाला रोल यू विल हैव टू लर्न डीएसएस व्हाट आई फील आई डोंट कंप्लीटली एग्री मतलब एक कैंडिडेट को आधे घंटे में एफिशिएंटली कैसे इवैल्यूएट करेंगे इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट एग्जैक्टली सो डीएसए मेक्स प्रॉपर सेंस एंड मतलब इट्स अ गेम दैट यू कैन लर्न मतलब प्रैक्टिस करो आई फील यू नो इट्स रियली गुड आई थोड़ा थोड़ा मैंने लीड कोड चालू किया इट्स आई आई थिंक इट्स एंजॉयएबल एंड लॉट ऑफ दोस प्रिंसिपल्स इट्स लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल यू टॉक अबाउट एमएल ऑफ्स तो एमएल ऑफ्स में डेटा को कभी-कभी क्लीन करना होता है देयर इज टेक्निक्स यू कैन यूज तो वहां पे डीएसए यूज होता है बिकॉज़ डेटा में मतलब सर्च करना होता है कहां पे क्या है तो सर्च में मतलब कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी आ गई वो भी डीएसए का पार्ट हो गया सो आई थिंक 
एज यू बिकम अ बेटर सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर वो अपने आप ही डीएसए के कांसेप्ट्स आते हैं वो ऑलरेडी इनबिल्ट होगा लाइक यू दे वांट टू आस्क यू टू राइट अ बाइनरी सर्च उसके ऊपर बट कई बार जब कोर में काम कर रहे हो तो ना इफ यू आर वर्किंग डायरेक्टली विद सी प्लस प्लस ओएस लेवल पे देन यू विल हैव टू राइट योर ओन करेक्ट बिकॉज़ एक किसी एज केस के लिए इफ यू हैव टू इंप्रूव इट कि पता चल गया यार ये वाला एज केस है कि इससे ज्यादा नंबर्स ही नहीं मिल रहे हैं या फिर कुछ भी हो रहा है देन यू कैन ऑप्टिमाइज इट डायरेक्टली इफ यू नो द एल्गोरिथम राइट अगर बस डॉट फिल्टर या डॉट सॉर्ट यूज करोगे तो उसको तुम ट्वीक नहीं कर सकते ज़्यादा। really makes sense. As I, as, as I I agree with you on this. Only thing I'm not against DSA. I'm, ah, I'm okay. in support with this. If any, so I'm not like that one guy who says DSA versus development ah. and uh, no, 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 focuses no, 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 no. on development. Ah. Yeah, focuses. There was a lot of controversy around DSA and Dev. I don't want to go go in that. But and people keep asking same question. Answer हो चुका है वो. अब तुम्हें नहीं करना तो मत करो. The thing is, you have more job opportunities if you learn yeah. DSA. Yeah. Yeah. मतलब डेवलपमेंट में गेटिंग दोज जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज इज अ लिटिल डिफिकल्ट डायरेक्टली सबको नहीं पता ओपन सोर्स कैसे करना है सबने ओपन सोर्स नहीं करा होता बट डीएसए का सीधा सीधा है कि लीड कोड पे जाना है पांच सौ क्वेश्चन करना है खत्म एग्जैक्टली मतलब इतना डायरेक्ट पाथ अगर आपको कोई दे रहा है तो आप क्यों इतना लड़ रहे हो कि कि अच्छा आई वांट टू डू फ्रंट एंड तो उसमें जरूरी है क्या जरूरी नहीं नहीं फ्रंट एंड में नहीं है जरूरी बट अगर कर लोगे 200 क्वेश्चंस तो कुछ हार्म नहीं है नहीं हो जाएगा यू विल हैव मल्टीपल रोल्स जो इसके लिए अप्लाई कर सकते हो एग्जैक्टली अरे फ्रंट एंड में भी काम आ जाएगा यार मतलब कभी फिल्टर पे कुछ कुछ लूप कर रहे हो कुछ कर रहे हो उसको ऑप्टिमाइज करना है आता है आता है काम थोड़ा बहुत तो आता है या इफ यू आर नॉट राइटिंग इट समझ तो आएगा ना कि ये इतने अच्छा तुमने इतने 10000 20000 आइटम्स रेंडर कर दिया तो वो जस्ट लेस स्लो है यू शुड यू टू रिएक्ट यू नो दिस बेटर देन एनीवन एल्स मतलब ऐसे हां मतलब ऑप्टिमाइजेशन वो लेजी लूट गया जो भी उसमें डीएस में सब लगता ही है सो व्हाई अपोज बेसिक तो पढ़ना ही चाहिए लाइक दे जस्ट वांट समवन टू टेल देम कि यू डोंट नीड टू डू दैट देयर इज अ इजीर पाथ दे डोंट वांट टू डू द मेहनत की बैठ के मेरे को क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करने पड़ेंगे दे आर जस्ट कि अगर नहीं करूंगा तो भी कुछ है ना हो सकता है वो वैलिडेशन होता है ना ये बोल रहे हैं तो सही बोल रहे हो सो व्हाट डू यू थिंक लाइक पीपल आर सेइंग कि अभी डीएसए वाले इंटरव्यूज कम हो जाएंगे देयर विल बी समथिंग एल्स लाइक व्हाट कैन बी देयर पीपल आर लाइक कि एचएलडी एलएलडी राउंड्स माइट स्टार्ट मोर बट When you are in college, जब जब तक तुमने actually सिस्टम से बात नहीं किया हो तो actually वो थ्योरी यू कैन थ्योरी पढ़ सकते हो you won't be able to actually understand what's going on. Again, it will be the same problem कि लोग रट के आ रहे हैं कि अच्छा इधर से telling me to do over I'll just memorize everything. वही करते हैं लोग if you ask them तो there are like ten system design patterns कि एक ऊपर वाला लोग Instagram मतलब एक वीडियो वाला there are common apps like एक वीडियो वाला लोग एक कुछ social media कर लिया आपने वीडियो कर लिया स्ट्रीमिंग प्लेटफॉर्म कर लिया देन ये कैब्स वाला कर लिया एग्जैक्टली पांच छह ही है यू लर्न द सिस्टम डिजाइन यू हैव द बेसिक आईडिया कि कैशिंग क्या होता है लोड बैलेंसर क्या होता है एंड यू कैन जस्ट गो स्प्लिट स्प्लिट इट आउट सो लाइक पीपल विल फिगर इट आउट एनीवेज कुछ ना कुछ तो कर ही लेंगे बट व्हाट्स योर टेक ऑन दैट लाइक हाउ आर योर इंटरव्यूज एक्चुअली व्हेन यू आर गिवन इंटरेस्टिंग सो um yeah so uh, i'll take it because i uh, i was mostly working with the guys for specific to roles and uh, specifically into certain startups and all sort of thing um definitely it was kind of the given me a take home challenge which i have to complete and then we had an interview explaining that take home challenge yeah, the last questions ki tumne kiya hai ya fir copy kar liya kahin se type correct correct <laughs> uh, so yeah it was more sort of that interview uh, though as you stated that um, dsa is required for more set of profiles because not everyone going to get that one job in the start oh ops ke liye generally nahi hota like even if you apply for not for ml but devops bhi apply karte ho na so they'll just ask you basic basic dsa bilkul ek hi link list मर्ज कर मतलब लिंक लिस्ट मर्ज मर्ज करो लाइक एड अ नोट टू अ लिंक लिस्ट और डिवाइड कर दिया बेसिक बहुत बेसिक बिकॉज आई नो गाय वो एज क्रैक लाइक थर्टी थर्टी फाइव कंपनीज जस्ट इन डेवॉप्स बहुत कम पूछते हैं सो इफ वो कोर स्किल है ना लाइक डेवॉप्स इज अ कोर स्किल वर्क ऑन दो सिस्टम वही चीज करनी है तो वहां पे नहीं नहीं जरूरत है इतनी एंड हाउ वाज योर इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस तो मेरा थर्ड वेव का जो इंटरव्यू था इट वाज एक्चुअली फाउंडर से पहले से मुलाकात थी ऑल ऑफ दैट सो लाइक अम इट वाज फॉर अ डेवलपर रिलेशंस इंजीनियर रोल व्हिच इज 
less technical more of ki matlab communication okay. yeah and can you just make things matlab bana sakte ho to um javascript typescript mein to experience hai next year's react so um that was like the that was the first interview but second interview jo eclipse ke liye hua tha so at the time i was working with celestia so celestia mein wo jo program jisme main enter hua that was itself a very prestigious thing like out of 400 like really qualified software engineers 10 were selected and yes. i was one of them and i was the youngest one there so ek to wo i guess ek barrier like a competency proof sir maan lo ho gaya to um and then ek lead code type question tha mujhe yaad nahi theek se maine dsa formally kabhi nahi kiya but i was able to do that question so that was done and thoda uh, crypto ka knowledge like blockchains like consensus mechanisms kaise kaam karte hain smart contracts mein kuch uh, pucha tha something like that and then there was like a general like you know what are your aspirations what kind of work you want to do crypto mein kyun interest hai um so that happened and uh, that's how i got the job so i don't think this is very different matlab aap log ke interviews like you know it makes sense this was the fun hamare to generally wahi hota hai there will be like 3 to 4 rounds if you apply for a software development engineer sd so these three four rounds honge mostly sab da se honge if you solve them before time like agar 45 minutes ka round hai you solve it in 30 35 minutes then 10 minutes they no sometimes they ask second question but they either they last ki iska optimized version bata do if you have done with everything they last some questions around your resume ki resume mein agar ye project hai to explain this project or what else you have done some, something from your resume they will start asking projects explain karne ke liye why you did that that एचआर टाइप क्वेश्चंस आते हैं कि मतलब नहीं नहीं आते इट्स फॉर हायर रोल्स मतलब मेरे माइक्रोसॉफ्ट के तीनों इंटरव्यूज में कोई एचआर नहीं था मैंने क्योरफिट का दिया था उसमें कोई एचआर नहीं था आई गिव फॉर सैमसंग आई गिव फॉर अटलेश अटलाशन नॉट अटलाशन अरसीजियम एंड जीएस जीएस में था इसके अलावा किसी में भी नहीं था एवरीवन एवरीवन वाज डीएस ओनली लाइक प्रॉपर डीएस लास्ट के 5 7 मिनट एक प्रोजेक्ट कोई भी सो आई डन अ बिट ऑफ ब्लॉकचेन इन माय कॉलेज आई वर्क मतलब मैंने solidity smart contracts वगैरह पे थोड़ा सा प्रोजेक्ट्स वगैरह बनाए थे आई वेंट टू हैकथॉन सो आई बिल्ड ऑन दैट तो वो उस प्रोजेक्ट पे होता था मोस्टली सो आई यूज्ड टू चूज दैट आई वाज लाइक ये कर लो एंड आई वेंट फॉर स्मार्ट इंडिया हैकथॉन सो आई वॉन दैट तो एक प्रोजेक्ट उस पे था सो इन दोनों में से किसी एक पे आई यूज्ड टू स्टार्ट टॉकिंग एंड उस पे निकल जाता था इंटरव्यू uh that's what i did for my final year project so everybody used to do fourth year project right. ki ml ya ai related or nlp they will do right. so we decided humne nahi padha tha and the usual way to do that in college was go and associate yourself with a professor, professor. only then you can learn it otherwise itna online they there i think still maybe there are more now tab nahi the we didn't want to go and ki teacher ke beech mein go nlp in 2017 नहीं नहीं ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी हाँ तो वो यही था कि मोजेला का ऑफिशियल एक दो ब्लॉग आते थे उसमें ही था but abhi bhi i tried to find but i couldn't find much but now like figma is using canva is using web assembly in rust or any what language specifically dekh rahe the i was just seeing web assembly and how to do c++ no 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 not the assembly code but i used to work with javascript right how to run c++ code inside of javascript how to run javascript inside of c++ code that so we built a project around that कि टीचर्स को नहीं पता दे वोंट बी एबल टू आस्क एनी क्वेश्चंस तो ये ये होता था कॉलेज में कि अगर तुम कोई ऐसा प्रोजेक्ट उठा लो जो किसी प्रोफेसर को नहीं पता तो कुछ क्वेश्चन कुछ भी पूछेंगे तुम कुछ भी बताओगे तो उनको तो क्या बताएंगे आप सही राइट उनको मान नहीं पड़ेगा कि हां सही कॉन्फिडेंस से कुछ भी बोलोगे तो लगेगा कि हां सही बोल रहे हो everyone has like when you do engineering so you have btp okay. your bachelor thesis project so you'll, um, uh, when i was graduating to do ho gaye the we had to do in 7 7 and 8 sem also humme do karne padte the to humne kya kara tha first wale ke aada kiya aur usi teacher ko bola ki isi ko koi so we did same project two semesters and wo project bhi mere dost ka bhai tha he graduated in 2019 or 2020 from triple it alabad to usne wo project kiya tha humne usko thoda sa improve kiya and we project chala diya tha so we didn't we was covid chal raha tha no one cared that much everyone was like ki theek hai kuch bhi kar lo so we used to sit one week before the final presentation 
बैठते थे उसको ठीक कर देते थे प्रेजेंटेशन में आते थे खत्म कर देते थे कुछ कोड ऑफ ऑनर एथिक्स वो सब बहुत फर्क नहीं पड़ता वो कोई कहीं जाता नहीं है ना वो इतनी बड़ी बुक प्रिंट करवाना होता है देयर वाज सम पेज लिमिट कितना होना चाहिए उसमें पूरा तुम्हें एक्सप्लेन करना होता है एंड यू जस्ट हैव टू गिव दैट इट्स इट्स अ फॉर्मलिटी नो वन केयर्स अबाउट इट वो बुक्स अगले दिन अगले साल रद्दी में जाती हैं कॉलेज में इसको डिस्ट्रॉय ही करते हैं हमारे कॉलेज में तो इट वाज कि यू विल ओनली गेट मैक्सिमम ए तक ओ यू विल गेट वंस इट्स पब्लिश्ड सो जो पीपल हु आर एक्चुअली इनटू एनएलपी एंड मशीन लर्निंग वो लोग अपना पब्लिश हमने पब्लिश करा दिया था एक्चुअली क्योंकि हमारी जो हम तो सेकंड वाले में करने का देयर वाज अ कंडीशन कि इफ यू गाइस विल पब्लिश इट लाइक इफ दिस गेट्स पब्लिश देन ओनली मैं तुम्हारे साथ करूंगी बिकॉज़ शी वांटेड प्रोफेसर वांटेड कि मेरा नाम आना चाहिए इसमें सो शी वाज लाइक कि अगर पब्लिश कराओगे तो ही करूंगी सो वी हैड टू राइट अ रिसर्च पेपर वी रोट लाइक तीन चार पेजेस का रिसर्च पेपर ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक एंड इट गॉट पब्लिश सो दैट एक्चुअली हैपेंड व्हाट आई हर्ड इन माय यूनिवर्सिटी डेज वाज कि लोग क्या करते थे तीन चार पेपर्स को मिक्स करके एक नया पेपर लिख देते थे मतलब यू जस्ट हैव टू एक्सप्लेन इट अ इन अ बेटर वे एंड उसी को थोड़ा सा और एक्सप्लेन कर दिया एग्जांपल ऐड कर दिया समथिंग लाइक चैट जीपीटी तो आई कांट इवन इमेजिन कैसे कैसे पेपर नहीं प्लेजरिज्म हां मतलब अब तो कैसे कैसे आ सकते हैं बट उसमें प्लेजरिज्म चेक करना पड़ता था कि कितना है वैसे नहीं So Anxiety turn it in. Like ah, no everything, everything. So turn it in. We used to use turn it in, mm-hmm. and us me check karna varda tha ki if it's less greater than ten percent. Less, less than na yes yes yes. Eight to ten percent was acceptable. Kitna tumne copy kiya? Baaki tum kuch. So us ten percent wo like proper definitions. You can't make exactly. them up na. तो वो वो डर फिर खुद लिखना ही पड़ता था. उस time थोड़ी chat GPT था कि we'll give them. So ये सब. अब तो एवरीथिंग इज मच इजियर लाइक बट इट्स आल्सो वर्स इन अ वे क्योंकि लोग नहीं सीख कर ही नहीं रहे कि चैट जीपीटी आई ट्राई टू हायर फॉर अ टेक्निकल कंटेंट राइटर ऑन इंटर्नशाला आई व्हेन आई वाज इन यूनिवर्सिटी तो मैं तो वहीं अप्लाई करती थी आई वाज लाइक मे बी कोई ना कोई तो होगा ही एटलीस्ट वन आउट ऑफ 100 200 बट आई गिव देम अ टॉपिक आई थिंक इट वाज ऑन रिएक्ट क्वेरी तो क्या किया सबने ही चैट जीबीटी से लिखा पहले तो नन ऑफ देम सबमिटेड मुश्किल से आई थिंक फाइव सिक्स पीपल सबमिट एंड उसमें से एवरीबडी जस्ट कॉपी डेट ऑफ ऑफ चैट जीबीटी उसकी जो नॉर्मल लेंथ होती है सबने सेम सेम स्ट्रक्चर सेम टॉपिक्स उनको पता भी नहीं होगा कि जिसके बारे में वो लिख रहे हैं वो है क्या और हाँ, उनको पता ही नहीं ना वन गाय व्हाट ही डिड वाज ही वेंट टू द डॉक्यूमेंट वेबसाइट ऑफ रियाटी कॉपीड ही डिडंट इवन मेक द एफर्ट टू क्योंकि उसमें आइकन्स वगैरह होते हैं ना तो उसने पेस्ट किया तो स्क्वायर स्क्वायर हो गया वो तो मैं कर दिया आपसे इंजीनियर How did you like? How can you apply to those roles? For you both, it was mostly community, right? But if you have to apply directly, so go on say websites if you know any. If you want to like, कुछ sort of template. अगर किसी को text करना है, किसी से referral चाहिए, कुछ भी करना है, तो how will you approach that? Like open question, but we can go one by one. We can we'll start with Durvashi. She has more experience in this. so the first remote job that I got was completely cold applying on well found होता था तब मतलब it was angelless stuff now it's well found तो वहीं पर daily I used to apply to new positions again like उनके qualifications होते हैं two plus years ये वो तो sometimes I would ignore कि आता है इतना तो you can test me whatever तो luckily they got in touch with me and then interview हुआ तो everything went fine The second one was again networking is very crucial. So, मुझे वो reference है ना. But हाँ, you can use well found now. Angel is पहले बोलते थे. Well yeah. found you can try. You will find uh, remote opportunities there. And what about you? I think um, this is a, I, I give a specific framework to my students the way to step by step. So it's kind of it's targeted specifically for startups, not like MNCs out mm-hmm. there. That's mm-hmm. it. I'm keeping that aside. I'm targeting those right, startups right. who are funded. who are well who are like international startups who pays really well and all sort of things remotely 
So for the first step uh, I, which I ask my student is that you have to actually devote the time and actual effort into this. Nahito, don't expect it. That's why out of 10 people, only 3 people get a job because of the effort which this method requires. So first of all, uh, you have to search for the sector which you're interested in. You can simply go to Product Hunt and maybe some somewhere. Uh, it's not always angel list. You'll find lo lo also, lots of jobs. There's uh, also YC also has Correct. a job board. You can just go there and then find the companies which are there. Some companies are recently funded and they're really looking out for hiring and all right. sort of thing. Even at Second Brain Labs, we were continuously hiring for uh, front-end engineers, back-end engineers and being good uh, over there too. So. These startups are looking out for those, scouting those talents who are good enough. So first of all, what I really ask, first of all, search for the companies which you want to really apply and they're actively hiring. And uh, then try to uh, understand what niche they are in and then use, basically I have a GPT template where you can get the set of projects by giving a description of the website and all sort of thing you'll get in 10 projects uh, personalized to that company along with the hiring chance. Okay. You develop that project and then what you do, you simply uh, take that and write an email to the companies because it's a small company, you'll be having that. So you say that, right. hey, listen, I built the personal project for you and uh, okay, blah, blah, whatsoever, your, your video resume, your info, info, infographic and all sort of thing, you just give it to them. Next, what you should do is, for, for example, you got rejected first. What you should do, you should simply publish it on some blogathon. You're easily getting thousand, sorry, hundred hundred dollars out there from easily from just document the project and publish it. You learn while doing this, you earn while doing this, and certainly you have nothing to lose if you, if you get hired, fair right. enough. Right. So it is more about your dedicatedly giving time to the company, and out of 10 company, most of the company will reply because they have seen that you're putting efforts into that and then getting there. So I think this effort really works, but if you're a really, really um, hardworking guy, that's why I push my students, okay, fair enough, you have to do this, otherwise I'll get you out, out of my course. So this is one of the strategies which I use. Yeah, so look, makes sense. If you are building a specific project for their, their company, then you will problem solve more. Right. Right. So if you are able to solve their problem without even actually knowing that much about the company internals, then it's good. Like they they will definitely would want to give you a chance. Right. Correct. And one of my student, uh, so um, they solved a GitHub open issues. The Zenim is an open source framework. So. Uh, they solved uh, uh, crucial issues over there, some of the GitHub issues, and they written a blog on analytics with uh, about ZenML. The founder of ZenML reached out to one of my students, stating, "Hey, very nice article. Let's talk. Let's chat." And they actually had a chat and then call and all sort of things. So I think it's more about the creating the network right, effect right. and then going. In. That's that's open source wala way. Like ah, if you apply yeah, to, yeah, if you want to apply any company, to open source karna start karo and open issues mein you start applying. Right. And once you do that, you will get like eyes on you. They'll start looking at your profiles. And if you do that for a long time, one month, two months, bigger so they might like reach out to you. Open so, source is professional projects only. Exactly. You're, you're just not getting paid for it. Right, so right. If, even true. if you're doing it, you, it's still counts as valuable experience. Exactly. So you can do that you, to like find remote jobs. And you can also cold reach out to founders of these exactly. initial rounds. Major so yeah, yeah, but I tell all everyone is that if you are not able to find a job, do one thing. Ye check karo last ek month mein kis -kis company ko you have, like India mein, they have got funded. So they must be looking for people to work, right? They need someone to expand their teams. So just do that, uh, mail their CEOs, CTOs, co-founders, everyone. And it, if you do like 10 cold emails, one will reply. Correct. And if you have skills, yeah. you can crack it. But you need to like be at a level that you can interviews clear. Kar yeah, so. At Second Brain Labs, you are continuously getting a lot of emails. We have to ignore that. There is no chance that we are going ahead and seeing every email. What really, I thought that people are just going to chat GPT because I can easily understand it. Okay, fair enough, it's something. It's very easy to start. Yeah, yeah. Like it's kind of a written view. You can't even have an effort to write it via mm -hmm. um, hand, then don't apply it to my job because it requires you, effort. Yeah. You couldn't even write an email. Yeah. Correct. And also, I think it's more about being smart enough to write with GPT. When I write it, no, I like it very personalized. So I, mm -hmm. instead, I use, instead, I use Claude, not GPT. So I say that act in a simple Indian English language, write in a plain English, raw English. Or at least use it as a starting point. And then Correct. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Um, yeah, so I think uh, all students, if they are really have hundreds of companies to apply, then they can create, feed their own tones and all sort of things and create a 
custom gpt and then uh, sample right. apna sample de do how right. you write how you speak and you can build on top of it but agar kuch mil bhi raha hai to usko bhi thoda to tweak karna hi padta it's not like i've seen i've seen emails ki company name place hold kar lo main to galat naam bhi dekhe hue hain they just send it to everyone many times i'm a sir i did a hiring committee sir and they they'll just say hi no uh, some anything kahin pe naam and itna bada everything copied from chat gpt like who why do you think yeah, that person is it like the chota hi hi please give job once uh, so uh, this guy wrote the entire email in the subject itself <laughs> <laughs> and i've had the i've had the opposite also ki usne chat gpt se likha hai to chat gpt gave subject colon that and body that so he copied entirely that in the body. कोई हैकेथॉन जीती थी या फिर यू गॉट सम ग्रांट और समथिंग एंड देन बस कि इफ यू हैव लाइक अगर रेफरल के लिए कर रहे हो तो गिव द जॉब आईडी इफ यू आर नॉट अप्लाइंग फॉर रेफरल रीचिंग आउट टू अ फाउंडर देन से कि इफ यू हैव एनी अपॉर्चुनिटीज लेट मी नो या आई थिंक मोर व्हाट आई रियली लाइक इज समबडी सेंड्स मी सो आई वाज टॉकिंग टू अली सो अली गोर्सन इज द फाउंडर ऑफ रेप्लेड एंड आई वाज आल्सो टॉकिंग टू प्रेम विश्वनाथन द आई आई वांटेड टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट हाउ एग्जैक्टली दे यूज्ड टू हायर सो प्रेम विश्वनाथन वाज आई थिंक डायरेक्टर ऑफ ml at ibm and then he shifted to artifact and then he is having own company so he's in the us as of now so i talked to him and then we we came up with the template of emails so it should it's very simple that you start with hey this is me and as you stated please write a small description of very very small it, sh- it shouldn't be like i'm hard working fuck that nobody cares <laughs> three uh, lines coffee yeah, right. like where are you from what you have done like which that's it Oh you God. don't even to add your university yeah <laughs> after experience you don't need that correct after write the description after that you show that okay fair enough for for, for, my, for my students like i develop a post night project for you and then you say okay fair enough this is my infographic resume this is my video resume that you can listen me how i'm talking because talking is one of the most important thing Indian. when you really see uh, and after that some of the personal project github link and uh, your linkedin profile and then after that you end the email by saying hey if you want me to hire please hire that's it and then that's it that's that's enough and that, no and after that if they want they'll check out your project that's it if they don't like it they'll not reply that's fine you should not follow up, you know what of 10 20 emails yeah correct matlab ek time i think chal jata hai like maybe in like 2 3 days you just follow up once ki if yeah. they might have missed it because kafi emails aa gaye or you have sent it over the weekend so it got cluttered mm-hmm. but ek ke baad it shouldn't be like ki bhai yaar do din mein follow up kar rahe ho koi koi mere ko na gaali dete hain follow up karne ke baad na gaali dena shuru karte hain prep like kar yaar ki itna ganda ganda koi bhi hote hain so i think it's be very professional otherwise no you don't know who is seeing your name no opposite agar tumhe kisi se help chahiye to tum usse gaali de ke thoda sa wo thode reply kar dega that's fair so yeah last last part of it uh, just one suggestion from each one of you if someone is in their school they want to quit their college or if someone has completed their college like us and they want to get a job so what what your what would be your advice so I'm very careful with saying this because college नहीं जाना या school dropout करना या I don't think I think most people should go to school and should go to college. मेरा situation बहुत different previous था या बहुत different था कि हाँ मुझे job मिल गई और मतलब मेरा interest align हो गया मेरा ये following था ये सब था so I had like and मतलब मतलब अच्छी मैंने बैठ के वो maths भी पूरा किया कि अगर job नहीं हुई ये नहीं हुई तो can I survive on my own तो वो सब सोचने के बाद ही मैंने कॉलेज नहीं किया सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डोंट स्किप कॉलेज और स्कूल जस्ट लाइक जस्ट बिकॉज मैंने किया है इवेल्यूएट योर सिचुएशन सिचुएशन एंड सी हाउ योर लाइफ गोज आर एंड अदर देन दैट आई वुड से प्लीज फॉलो योर इंटरेस्ट यू नो मतलब इंटरनेट पे बहुत सारी रिसोर्सेज है सीखने के लिए 
if you want to learn like if there is a will there is a way like i that's what i feel it out and you know uh, make friends jo aapke support kare journey mein and like talk to more people it becomes uh, learning becomes much more fun much more right. enjoyable and opportunity so ek bar kuch kuch hi achhi lagi usko aap showcase kar rahe ho internet pe to opportunities to aate hi rahenge that's my experience and uh, yeah that's like the advice i लाइक वो स्कूल ड्रॉप आउट कॉलेज ड्रॉप आउट वाली सक्सेसफुल परसेंटेज मतलब बट बट वी टॉक अबाउट एंड इट्स प्रिटी लेस ऑनेस्टली लाइक बहुत लोग करते हैं बट सब सक्सेसफुल नहीं होते लाइक प्रथम और आयुष बट ऑब्वियसली लाइक यू गाइज आर सक्सेसफुल एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम बट एवरी वन इज एमिंग आफ्टर कॉलेज यू गाइज आर ऑलरेडी डूइंग इट आर वर्किंग एट अ रिमोट कंपनी अर्निंग a lot and you have your own <laughs> you have your own startup like you have done two three things you have worked remotely you have done everything but what people want to do right so sabka nahi hota there are a lot of people jo fail ho jate hain and having a degree or graduation it is just ki you have a fall back sort of ki agar yahan nahi hua to kuch aur mere paas ho gaye i think mere sabse ek to career hota hai financial goals all that but other than that passion bhi rehta hai us hota hai i was very lucky ki mujhe mera passion ha dono intersect ho gaye at the same time pe mil gaya but i don't think everyone should expect ki 19 year old ko pata ho ki kya karna hai exactly you know you change your interest badal jata hai kya pata aaj programming achhi lag rahi hai parso mein ek bad dance chal raha hai but true true but Yeah, just uh, keep exploring. Asani, you're not fixed to something. Exactly. मतलब ये करियर वाली चीज़ I think पहले होती थी जब पापा के टाइम पे कि अगर एक चीज़ स्टार्ट कर दी तो दस पंद्रह साल तक वही करना है. Now people are more flexible. If you don't like something, try out another job or another field. If it's good, नहीं तो और कुछ try कर लो और fall back to the first one अगर कुछ भी नहीं होता because you have experience in that. So you can always do it. I think um, from my side. See, I'll tell to the um, according to situations. As you said, follow your interest. I'm quite of against that um, reason. This there's some reason behind it. So see, um, if somebody is in a situation like uh, when I was before, where you have to uplift your family or you have a lot of responsibilities and hell lot of things, then you also have interest of going to party just like other friends are going. Right? You also have a lot of interest going around, and then you have to this kind of lot of interest you have. You cannot. go and then pursue that interest that interest should align with your goals and what you need to do for example uh, when i was starting off with the whole data science and machine learning and a lot of things out there when i was actually starting off i also had an interest to um, go down and enjoy party and all sort of with my brothers and all sort of things but eventually i uh, i think uh, data science was also hard for me I I could have been going ahead with other technologies which might be a little bit easy but I know that okay this is if I do it then this is what the outcome is so it's all about you should understand what you need to do uh instead of uh, also aligning with interest if if that's enough that's good enough but even though if you really think that that really works out well then good enough go ahead with it secondly which I think is the phase of downfall so I as uh, as i say that phase of downfall is like this when you start learning a technology your motivation is like this and after a certain time it continuously goes like this and for the next set of months for 8 months it can go continuously like this but the one who is actually cracking things up is one who is consistent in that um downfall era and if you survive in the downfall era okay fair enough you're not able to understand a no worries learn that again learn that again and try to understand them as much as you can go in that and after a certain point you will understand fair enough you actually got a opportunity because i am I'm, i'm i'm kind of believer in destiny and uh, you reach to that by continuous efforts you cannot say okay fair enough become a data scientist in 2 months no that's not going to happen if that's happening that's a scammer who's telling you uh, so uh, yeah that's the past the phase of downfall do what is needed uh, after you have money you can do what your interest lies in right so for example for me my interest but if yeah. you want money to wo apne aap hi interest ban gaya na is yeah, that not yeah. ironic yeah. and yeah. also yeah. when i spoke about interest i didn't mean interest matlab yeah. party karna yeah. ya wo karna i meant career wise interest ki matlab ha tumhe finance mein interest hai aur are you interested in programming so i mean when money comes in matlab agar tumhe pata hai ki tumhe data science mein paisa zyada mil raha hai so you obviously be more interested <laughs> in data science so yeah. it's makes no no makes sense <laughs> i completely agree with you on that part for me i was making good enough money from my data science machine learning working at zenml replay and 
over there. I was making money. But I think my actual interest really lied in building businesses out there. And I think uh, that's what I wanted to do. And it's not like that when I come to my business, my money fall down. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's not like that. It gradually increased because I had a backup option, which is Anton. Uh, so I think... Uh, I, yeah. You just contradicted that you said that you don't interest mat follow the interest. Correct. Now you're saying that I had a business interest. Tha, lekin business but business after business. having a fall yeah, back After having a money, also. yeah. Okay. You have a money. I had a money in my bank account. Yeah. I can go ahead and then... You can do whatever yeah. I then want. Then you can take those risks. risks. So it's just evaluation of balance kaise karna hai, interest ko and jo goals. Hai. Correct. Yeah. Then, but goals also motivate your interest. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, interlinked yeah. is It's not that interest, if interest is interest, and if you don't have to work on it, then you don't have to work on it, then you don't have to work on it. It's interest. You need to work hard on that. And you don't have to pay. So you need to earn money. What I believe is, if you put time and effort into something, if you don't have to pay, then you don't have to pay. If you don't have to pay, then you don't have to pay. If you don't have to pay, then you don't have to pay. If you don't have to pay, then you don't have to pay. If you don't have to pay, then for me, it is like the things that I hated in university. Ki, wo hai. Maybe some point in my life, I naturally got interested into it. So then I'll do it myself. But wo bhi after putting the time and effort, after going after that hard phase, ki nahi, I'm not able to figure things out. But then everything starts clicking. What is the exploration? You know, you try lots of different things. And uske baad dhere dhere you get to understand what kind of person you are, what you want to pursue. At least I felt that. Yeah, and also interest aligns with your actual value. For me, it's money, it's fame. Fame is now over. <laughs> um, interest, so, sorry, money. Uh, and I think I could achieve that goal by following something known as building businesses out there. It's completely okay, I'll fail it up, that's okay. But what if, if it passes enough? Like, you have the, you will build a generational wealth, not one crore in a year, but instead one crore in a day. That's a very big difference. And uh, I know this is a something fantasized. So I was talking to Subramanyam. Um, so he was telling me one really interesting thing. That see, every entrepreneur who's sitting and saying that, uh, fair enough, you're working towards building public welfare. That's not true. True, that's <laughs> not true. Bro, you have a, on paper, if you see the valuation of a guy, it's touching uh, like in crores and it is not even like it's kind of a, the output which you get out of the whole thing is much more than anything I'm not saying that you should go and become an entrepreneur no see the, the fallback yeah. so yeah. you should have a fallback correct a backup plan so I was in I um, PS University I was speaking something around it I, I don't know there's some principle of creating a backup plan what was that I'm not remembering but it was a principle of a creating a backup plan a revenue generating thing. If you're middle class, if your father is not, mother is not working, then for sure you have to create your own backup plan and make it that money is coming around. For me, yeah. it's my course. Yeah. I'm telling openly, I earn from my course, I earn from a firm, I earn from the royalties. I earn. This is what I'm getting from them. From here, I'm trying to create in the next, in the long term, in the next two to three years, what's going to happen. Um, if, uh, for, a, for example, uh, the next round, we have raised the angel round. For the next round, if you raise around, our target is around, uh, 3 million. Our valuation is 30 million. Can I invest? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, though uh, we, we, have, we have a board to talk about that. But uh, the valuation, so now if you take, so I, I can't name the stake which I have, but if you take the stake of 30 million, it's more than what I could earn in that. Obviously, yeah. yeah. So I'm not saying to do. You can't, you don't have to. That is wealth written. When you get acquired or if it goes public. And it's also about you can take loans. That's what people do. They take loans on the basis of their stock options and all sort of things. And that's one of them. And uh, I'm not saying that you should become an entrepreneur. You should be what you do. But I wanted to become. Uh -huh, and good. Fair enough. Fantasize my thing which I wanted. Fair enough. True Fair enough. capitalist. <laughs> Fair enough bro, I agree with you. <laughs> if you, like everyone is working for money, if you are working at a company, you are working for that money only. third paycheck, paycheck you will get at the end of the month, right? Correct. If you are working for yourself, if you are an entrepreneur, take a greater good hoga that you are working towards, but first if you have some money in your bank, then only that you will yeah. be able to... Not everyone can follow their bank. Just go do it. As well Correct. As happy, goals achieve more, night to five. I'm not scamming anyone. Uh, <laughs> it's good to go. That's what I'm saying. 
end goal is one of the part is money if you're doing this podcast the end goal is also coming money right yeah. so i'm not saying so <laughs> not saying we are also working towards welfare we are mm-hmm. sharing our experiences yeah. that's what valuing them and also without paying them paying us we are getting the money on behalf of us so it can be indirectly too yeah, yeah. there's somebody coming and buying my course that's getting uh, me money right that's openly that's uh, that's that's what i say so i think kisi ko baat ke nahi rakha ki ha course le da exactly to lo exactly exactly somebody coming and criticizing my course uh, um, i mean don't take it right yeah so, don't I, take I it like, yeah ye hamesha hota hai they are like ki kyun course kar raha hai bhai tumhe nahi why are you watching my content for the, the exactly. funniest thing is free content free courses pe ki hit ko bas dete theek hai main full refund de deta hu because free exactly. to zero refund get the joke yeah 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 uh, when i um, putting some course <laughs> out then that's my thing i'm earning money and from he, it and yeah out. he's paying some person to build it for him he's, yeah and time is also valuable but he's putting his exactly. time to it time laga rahe ho acha le ke liye acha lo to mang do refund are mang lo bhai tere ko 30 din ka refund deta hu main agar ab bhai maine aise and mat kari do nahi kari no there's plenty exactly. of free content you use that wo same paisa ek pizza khane ke liye del bhi rahe ki chalo party karne chale jate hain 1000 rupaye 2000 rupaye 3000 rupaye kharch kar denge koi problem nahi but यहाँ पे कोर्स नहीं ले सकते क्योंकि फ्री में पढ़ा हुआ है क्योंकि फ्री में पढ़ा हुआ है बट दिस विल वोट डू इट फॉर फ्री सो फ्री में पढ़ा हुआ है उसके साथ ना बहुत सारे डिस्ट्रैक्शंस और और चीजें भी आते हैं यूट्यूब पे एक वीडियो देखनी स्टार्ट करी अगर तुमने प्रीमियम नहीं ले रखा तो आर्ट तो भर के आई ठीक है अगर मुझे ये नहीं समझ में आता की people who are earning good money why don't you have youtube premium you have youtube yeah i have i have i use free okay. <laughs> i have youtube okay. i have to like i i don't know i don't understand like why are you not it's very cheap 130 rupees a month na and for family. a family exactly <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> for a family to match dekhoge pure pure din mein like right ab baat chala do agar 5000 ghante ke videos dekh rahe ho usme se 20% ads like just think about exactly. the time time kitna waste ho raha hai agar tum kisi and same paise agar tum kisi ko course ke liye de rahe ho you are getting structured content fast tracking fast tracking sab kuch mil raha hai to fir problem kya hai matlab theek hai and it's not ki anyone is asking for like ab companies are asking for 50000 1 lakh 2 lakh what that's, that's a different right. thing yeah 5000 4000 3000 2000 ki cheeze hai people are like ki nahi we won't pay this for this but we will pay for xyz thing university hmm. yes नहीं यूनिवर्सिटी तो चलो बट यू विल पे फॉर फॉर एग्जाम्पल एनी मतलब एनीथिंग यू थिंक कि मैं ना ये भी बोलता हूँ कि अपने स्टूडेंट्स को कि भाई मेरा कोर्स फ्री में अवेलेबल है मैं मैं तेरे को रिसोर्सेज देता हूँ जाके पढ़ लेगा पढ़ लेगा तो मैं तो ते, 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 तेरे को एक लाख रुपए दूंगा अगर वो पढ़ लेगा तो ऑल ऑफ माई वीडियोज आर ऑन यूट्यूबलिस्टेड है तो स्टूडेंट आज नहीं की ये तो लीक हो सकते हैं yeah. ये तो पहले से कॉन्टेंट अवेलेबल है ना तुमसे उनसे हो रहा होता फ्री में तो कर लेते हैं बहुत अच्छा लाइक मुझे कोट याद आया वेयर देयर इज देयर इज दिस गाय कॉल्ड टोटो वर्क ही इज द सीईओ ऑफ मर्सिडीज एफ ओके तो उन्होंने बोला था एक चीज कि इफ यू आर ओके लाइक इफ यू कैन कोप विद द वर्स्ट केस एक किसी भी सिचुएशन में देन इट्स अ कैलकुलेटेड रिस्क टेक या या तो एनालिसिस करना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट होता है जैसे कि मैंने मेरे केस में लाइक कॉलेज का बहुत सोच समझ के किया फॉर श्योर कैलकुलेटेड रिस्क भाई मतलब वही जैसे आयुष ने बोला कंडीशन पे भी डिपेंड करता है ही हैड टू डू इट ही हैड टू डू इट यू हैड द ऑप्शन टू गो टू कॉलेज और जस्ट गेट अ जॉब और यू आर गेटिंग अ जॉब सो वो सिचुएशन पे भी डिपेंड करेगा कि व्हिच सिचुएशन यू आर इन हां बस थोड़ा दिमाग लगाओ वो सेल्फ एनालिसिस सेल्फ एनालिसिस करना इंपॉर्टेंट है इफ यू आर इन एनी सिचुएशन सो या थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच सो मच फॉर टेकिंग आवर टाइम इट वाज अ रियली रियली इंटरेस्टिंग कन्वर्सेशन आई थिंक लव्ड इट काफी मजा आया टॉकिंग टू एवरीवन एंड लाइक टॉकिंग टू आयुष एंड वाले में तो आयुष ने नेचुरल पूरा चल रहा बढ़िया सो या थैंक यू एवरीवन सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो यू कैन फॉलो देम ऑन देयर सोशल मीडिया अकाउंट्स आई विल लिंक एवरीथिंग डाउन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ना